What's up guys, if you want to see how to make an aimbot just like that, then uh, watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is uh, get null base from GitHub, the link will be in the description. Even if you've been following the um, past episodes, uh, make sure you go and get it again because I just updated it as you can see like 40 minutes ago. Um, I had to add a few functions and stuff to make this aimbot possible. So make sure you go and download the new one, uh, link in description. So once you've downloaded... <laughs> So once you've downloaded uh, Nullbase and you've probably opened the uh, solution file, you'll probably see that there's like a lot of errors and stuff. Um, go watch part one, it'll be in the top right of your screen there. In that part, I show you how to get rid of those errors and get a successful uh, compilation. So before I start, um, this is going to be a view angle aimbot. In my last aimbot uh, tutorial, it'll be in the top right corner there, you can watch it if you want. Um, that one I did a mouse aimbot so it simulated uh, a mouse movement toward the enemy so if you want um, a mouse aimbot specifically watch my last aimbot tutorial uh, and that one I show how you can simulate mouse movements uh, for an aimbot but in this one we're going to be using a view angle aimbot which is way more popular and it's used uh, in most cheats uh, just because of its accuracy and speed once you've fixed all the errors and all that um, the base comes with bhop so i'm just going to leave that in there and um i'm going to start with uh, some aimbot functions so the first thing i want to do is i want to make a uh, function that finds the closest uh, enemy to our crosshair and um returns that enemy's base address so that we can uh, aimbot them so we can aim at them so um i was going to return a d word because i wanted to return the player's base address and i'm going to just call it find player so we're going to have a few variables here. First thing is going to be um, since uh, this base uses the uh, DirectX SDK, I'm going to be using some of the um, data types from DirectX just because it makes it so much easier um, instead of making my own um, structures and stuff like that. So I'm going to be using the D3D vector structure here and we're going to call this world to screen head. And I'm going to have a D word and this is going to be the player that we want to aim at. I'm going to set that as null right now because we um, haven't found the player we want to aim at yet. And then the next thing is just going to be a double. And this is going to be called lowest distance. I'm going to say 9999 um, just to start off the loop um, so that the first iteration we have something to compare against. So we're going to do a for loop. And I want it to be, I want to start at one because I want to skip zero, which is uh, the local player. So I'm going to start at one and I'm going to go 32 times um, to loop through the entity list. So first thing I want to do inside this loop is I want to get the base of this um, entity that we're at right now. So I'm going entity, get ent base. I'm just going to put I in there if I can spell. Um, okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna see if it's an enemy and we wanna make sure it's a valid player. So we're just gonna do that in one simple if uh, statement and we're gonna go get ent team. I'm gonna put the base in there. I'm gonna make sure that it's not equal to our team. Right, so it's not equal to the local player team. Okay, also I wanna see if they are a valid enemy to aim at or if it's uh, an actual player that's alive and all that. So I'm gonna say not is alive, I'm gonna say is valid. And that also checks if it's alive. It also does um, a dormant check and stuff like that. So gonna do that. And then what else we're gonna do? We're gonna make sure that they are not um, in an immunity state and last thing we're checking for is the immunity state you see it in like gun game and um, like some deathmatch servers and stuff I'll probably put a picture of it uh, on the screen and that's what it looks like you know like the player can't take damage so uh, don't want to aimbot them when they can't take damage so we want to do a world to screen here and we're going to get the head position of the entity I'm gonna go get ant bone paws. I'm gonna put the base. I'm gonna put the number eight. The number eight here represents uh, the bone ID 
and currently number eight is the head bone okay this can change with updates but um it's been number eight for like quite some time so after this we're going to put in wts head so it's going to initialize that variable okay next we want to get the size of our screen so i'm going to do get system metrics i'm going to find uh, fuck off and i want to find uh the x axis all right and then i'm going to do the same for the y axis all right all right so we've initialized w2s head well to screen head and next we're going to calculate the distance from our crosshair so we're going to say distance equals so we're going to do this big calculation here um I'm just gonna copy and paste this stuff actually, just to make it quicker. So that's the X axis of the screen and we're gonna half it. And we want to subtract the X axis of W2S head. And I'm gonna put two there. So the two here means we wanna uh, square root it because this is a power function. So we wanna have this to the power of two, okay? And we're going to add the power of basically this thing. Um, I'll just, yeah, I'll copy this entire thing. And I'm gonna change this to Y for the Y axis and change this to Y. And that's basically it. Okay, and then another bracket and that's it. Uh, let me just do this so it's a little easier to um, understand all right so what we're doing here is um we're getting the distance from the uh entity's uh head location on our screen uh from our crosshair so we're getting the distance from our crosshair to the enemy's head okay so all we're doing is we're just um squaring the x-axis of our screen minus um the x-coordinate of the player's head plus the y-axis of our screen half uh minus the y-axis of the player's head okay so we're square rooting those two and then i uh, are squaring uh each of those and summing them together and then we're just square rooting it i also forgot something up here uh, in these brackets here you want to put base uh that should yeah all right so once we've got the distance from our crosshair we want to say if that distance is less than the lowest distance so if it's the closest to our crosshair right now, uh, we want to say the lowest distance is that, and the player that we want to aim at right now would be that person, okay? Because right now they're currently the closest to our crosshair. So that's pretty much it. And then right at the bottom here, before the last bracket, we want to just return the player that we got, okay? So this is how we find the player that we want to aim at. Basically, all we do is we make sure that it's an enemy, uh, it's valid, and that they're not in um, in some immunity state right now, okay? And then we make sure that they're the closest to our crosshair, and then we return that player. Now, the next thing we want to do is the actual aimbot function. So I'm going to make this a void, and I'm just going to call it aimbot, and we want to know the player that we want to aim at. So first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the player that we got is not null. Otherwise that would be me. Ha, huh, what a joke. Um, we want to make sure that they're not null um, because, well, what the fuck are you going to aim at if it's null? So we want to make sure that um, well, I'm going to do this. So I'm going to do this uh, spotted check. Uh, it's kind of like a really easy way of uh, doing like a, a viz check basically all this is doing is like if they're spotted so if you can see that person uh, it's going to aimbot them so it's kind of like a viz check like if they're visible you can aimbot them uh, just to help it look more legit and then we're going to have a um, hotkey here I'm just going to make it left click okay so if if the enemy is spotted so if 
uh, the enemy is visible uh, and you're holding down left click so you want to shoot or whatever um, it's going to aimbot them you can change this to any key you want I just put left click because that's what I prefer you can make a right click or any key on your keyboard uh, just look up virtual key codes and then you'll be able to put that in there and that'll be the hot key to use so the first thing we want to do in uh, this function here what we want to do now is we want to um, actually get the aim angles so I'm just going to create a uh, vector 3 here now I'm going to say aim angles I'm going to use the calc angle function that's in null base and I'm just going to pass a couple parameters so you got the source and the destination basically that means uh, where the local player is and then where you want to aim so I'm going to put the local player position which is as easy as this get local player pause oh get local pause sorry and then or I'm gonna put the uh, player we want to aim at I'm just gonna get their position so I'm gonna say get and pause and I'm gonna say player to aimbot okay so I'll go in this function here in calc angle um, it might be a little advanced um, to explain it in depth I might need to do it in a separate video just because I don't want this one to be too long so if you guys want me to um, fully explain uh, the math and trigonometry um, in this function, please let me know. I'll be happy to do a video just on uh, calculating this aim angle. But I'll run through it quickly. I do have comments in this and this will be in null base as well. Um, basically, um, in the start here. So basically in the start here, you've got this square root function. Um, it looks very complicated, but that's because it's made to be completely optimized and um, it's just uh, a square root function. So it square roots uh, whatever the input is there and it's much faster than uh, the normal function you'd use. Um, after that, we just get the delta between the source vector and the destination vector. And once we have the delta, we can then um, square root the x and y and then we can get, um, we square root that and then we get the hypotenuse, all right? So that's Pythagoras theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Uh, so we find the hype and that's um, the vector that we want to aim at, okay? So that's the vector towards the enemy. So what these two lines here do is they use sine and tangent and they use the hypotenuse that we calculated. And with that information, um, they can calculate the angle that we need to aim at the enemy, okay? And also this uh, bit right here. And also this bit right here uh, looks extremely complicated uh, if you're not really used to this sort of stuff. So all this code does, um, it's just like this if statement here. Um, if delta dot x is greater than or equal to uh, zero. So basically if delta dot x is positive, uh, we want to add 180 to angles dot y. Okay, basically what it's doing is it's just checking the first bit of delta dot x and then it's reversing that see if it's positive or negative and so if it's positive it'll be 1 and 1 times 180 is 180 so it'll add 180 to um, angles dot y otherwise if it's uh, negative then it's going to be 0 times 180 and that's going to add nothing so it's the exact same as this if statement here but it just is going to run way faster and um, there is a good forum post that you should check out that um, explains calc angle way better than I ever could. Uh, I'll link it in the description and probably show a photo of it on the screen. Yeah, so that post is where I first learned um, aimbot and calc angle and all that. So it's a really good post. Uh, what we want to do is um, I'm going to be adding a recoil control, which I did not do in my last aimbot video. Uh, and a lot of people asked on how to do it. Uh, so it's just one line of code here. And I'll show you how to do it. So you just go aim angles minus... Uh, local player and you want to get the uh, punch angles okay and the punch angles is basically just the recoil and we're going to multiply it by two um, to make it really strong recoil control if you want it to be a little softer and more legit you could probably uh, lower this number here also if you want it to be like more stiff 2.5 works pretty well as well once we've found the aim angle and we've compensated for the recoil uh, we can then set our view angle uh, to aim at the enemy. So just going to go set local view angles and I'm going to pass aim angles. And that's it. 
So what we do here is we make sure that the player that we want to aimbot is uh, valid. And then we make sure that they are visible. We make sure that we're holding left click or whatever hotkey you want. Uh, we calculate the angle, we compensate for recoil, and then we aim at them. So I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna show you that it works, and then I'll show you how to smooth the aimbot, so how you can make it look more legit. All right, so let's see if the aimbot works. Works perfectly. So if you don't want the aimbot to be that obvious, I'm gonna show you how you can um, smooth the aimbot to make it look more legit and um, aim at the enemy slower. Okay, so if you wanna know um, how to smooth your aimbot, all you gotta do is um, you need to get our current angles. And then we need to find the um, delta between our ang between our aim angles and our current angles. So all we need to do is just um, aim angles minus our current angles. And then once we found the delta, we can go in here. And all we need to do is our current angles plus the delta divided by whatever uh, smooth value you want. So I'm gonna put 20, this can be any number, this could be 100, one, whatever you want. Uh, 20 gives like a pretty good smoothing, so I'll just build that and uh, show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the uh, smoothing looks like. As you can see, it doesn't snap on like it um, does when you just put uh, no smoothing at all. It's a lot softer. As you can see, so that's the video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe at 1,000 subs, which I'm almost at. I'm about 100 away from um, 1,000. I'm going to be doing basically this series, but I'm going to be showing how to do all of this stuff internally. So I'm going to make an internal um, aimbot and glow ESP and all that stuff. So um, if you're interested in that, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.